why do you want to start a third party? They've never worked. Uh, Trump and Biden now are at 40-40 in the polls. So you want to really be Ralph Nader, who throws the election to Donald Trump? First, let me say, I'm focused on what's already working in some parts of the country. What do I mean? Lisa Murkowski is the only Republican senator who voted to impeach Donald Trump, who's also up for re-election in 2022. Her approval rating among Alaskan Republicans now stands at 6%. That's why so few Republicans are willing to stand up and disagree with Trump. But Alaska last year changed its process from party primaries, where Senator Murkowski would be subject just to the 10 to 20% most partisan voters in Alaska, who would be Republican in this case, to open primaries and ranked choice voting, which allows the senator to appeal to 50.1% of the general public. But short of that, you wouldn't have a third party. Well, so if the plan is to try and line up our legislators' incentives with us, as opposed to the 10 to 20% most extreme partisans that right now control the agenda and are leading both polarization to rise and also to co for compromise to be completely anathema in Congress, you have to make this happen on the state-by-state -state level in red, purple, and blue states. And you can't do that okay. as a member of a current well, party. Well, just let me show you. I have a picture from 2004 of Michael Moore and myself. We were begging Ralph Nader not to run and throw the election to George W. Bush. I just don't want to have to get on my knees and do that for you, Michael Moore. Well, Bill, uh, first, I'm focused on 2022, because that's where the action is. That's where we have right. to do as much work as possible. Okay. But we are at a point in American life where 62% of Americans do want an alternative to the duopoly. They and say your, that. And your argument that you made just a couple weeks ago shows just how subject to authoritarianism our two-party system is, because right. if one party succumbs to bad leadership, there is no safeguard. It's terrible design. Our founding fathers would be shocked and horrified that we're dealing with this. If you look around the world, the UK, five parties, Germany, seven parties, yes, Sweden, but that's eight not parties. Our constitution. And if you had that system, but then if don't. one party lost its mind, it wouldn't be an existential threat because you have to get three other but parties on board. But we have to board. change the system to run in that and system. And that is the mission.